On the launch pad in Florida, ready to go, the most powerful rocket ever built. Artemis One, without a crew, will test drive the spaceship that will eventually carry astronauts deeper into space than ever before. The first mission will circle the Earth, then set course for several days to the moon. Artemis One will fly just 100 kilometers from the surface of the far side of the moon, a hold-your-breath moment for the mission. Then a much wider orbit for two weeks, before it slingshots back to Earth 42 days after liftoff. The aim is not just to go to the moon. We're going back to the moon in order to learn to live, to work, to survive. How do you keep humans alive in those hostile conditions? One of Canada's four active astronauts will be among the crew that takes the next Artemis mission in 2024 that will also circle far beyond the moon. Canada will be the second country in the world to go into deep space, right? That flight will go out for, again, an extended mission, circling around the moon, testing out all kinds of systems. When humans first went to the moon half a century ago, it was an all-American enterprise. But Canada's robotics, notably the Canadarm, made this country a major player in space. When a new lunar orbiting space station, Gateway, goes up in two years, the latest Canadarm 3 will maintain the platform. From its laboratories, the Canadian manufacturer will be able to control Canadarm from Brampton, Ontario. Though at a distance of 400,000 kilometers, this Canadarm will also have to think for itself. We will only communicate with this space station once every few days. Um, and in between, the artificial intelligence-based system will cause the robotic system to conduct its tasks. In three to four years, a third mission will put humans on the moon, this time at the South Pole where areas have gone without sunlight for billions of years. This is a new part of the moon. It's a place that we've never explored. The Artemis missions are stepping stones to a destination tens of millions of miles away, the planet Mars. And Canadians will be crucial partners exploring our solar system. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.